these kitties think that just because I moved this bench to get my uh, my exercise step in place here, hmm, that there's food waiting for them. We were just the hi, John. Hi, sweetie. Uh, yeah, hello there. We were just, um, you know, yelling about the Ken Dash Hour show, uh, but also. What do you think? Should we start this over? No, I don't think we should start it over. But I would help you reach for a stand. Okay. You know what you do, right? I'll put it down. This way we can grab some dash out and yell at him. Yeah, right. That's a fucking good idea, man. All right, so Johnny wants to look. Look at Maisie's cool rug bed. It's, isn't it beautiful? Those colors, it's gorgeous. We're doing a good old fashioned tarot reading this morning. Um, the brothers request, Bunny requested it first off. Yeah, so did Maggie, but she just split. She's got attitude problem today. Listening to Praise Be God Mother and I, we said before we turn the camera on, let's let's do a quickie sermon before we turn the camera on. And somehow that feels really good to do because mm -hmm. it's how we started out. Just we didn't always have camera a camera every day for our, you know, big channels or anything. Mm. We did all this in private, which makes you think you feel you sound even crazier than you are. Yes, I do think that. Listen. Let's see here another. Speaking of crazy, where's Dashow? Ah, listen to that voice. I don't know why she's riding so high. She'll think twice. She'll do right by me before she gets to say a goodbye. Nothing fast, nothing right about me I'm gonna be sad I think it's a day I don't know why she's riding so high. She better think right, she'll do right back. Johnny, yeah. I hate to turn it off, but I think we need to if we want to continue with this tape, yeah. Otherwise, YouTube won't let us air it, right? But I love his voice so much in this. Just a little more. You're not letting me play it? You're spazzing out. Ah, yeah. Ah, oh, she's got a ticket to ride. She's got a ticket to ride. She's got a ticket to ride. But she don't care. My baby don't care. <laughs> hogs and Harleys. Uh, uh, uh. Who's talking about hogs and Harleys, Dashow? You? Oh, yeah, you. Sorry, that sounds hateful. It does, honey. Ring the bell. All right. Uh, giving me the jobbies. <laughs> Praise be God and Mother, I'm back with my magic fucking wand. I got a bunch of them. I got this motherfucking thing. I got that motherfucking thing. I got a lot of magic wands, people. Today we're doing a tarot card reading. And with the thanks to mother and the mother and the father for the white light of the Holy Spirit that protects us each and every day. Card number one, Queen of Cups upside down. Queen of Cups is a mother, a sister a daughter, a friend, in the female form, bringing things all good into your life. 
This card or its ilk keep coming up this week, reminding me that Mother's Day, actually, I thought Mother's Day was today. John had me thinking all week that this weekend was Mother's Day. And I said to him last night when I realized that it, to, today indeed is not Mother's Day, it's next week. And what did I say to you this morning? Why did you let me think that up until now? I, we were planning a whole show today to sing for Mother's Day. Well, those, yeah, but, you know, I, I'm not angry about it, but why did, and so I said, I wanted to know why. And John said, because it's Mother's Week for you, Lena, and you alone. Oh, and we could celebrate the, 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 the mother God, of course. Yes, but what about our, well, the brethren who are mothers and, and daughters alike and so on and so forth. But instead of just really making a big deal one day, I want to do this entire week leading up to the, right, next Sunday, right. Celebrating you and true, the true mother spirit for the whole week. That's a really beautiful idea, John. Mm -hmm. And I really love that idea a lot. So I, I recommend it for everyone. Let's do that. Right. I'm loving the whole stick thing. Right. You think he's playing another song? I would rather do a card. That's my girl. All right, good. I'm glad. Beatles are especially here, oh, here this morning in the Six of Swords. Well, Johnny, you take it, okay? Well, sure, uh, or any of us really can. But again, this card is, if people look back, all week. Mm -hmm. Navigating choppy waters to safe until you get to safety. And I have been having anxiety safety issues that I am in a situation where, you know, I'm kind of limited in my ability to tune it out or to tune out the vibrations of the other beings around me. It's all right and it's going to be better than you ever imagined. Another card, radio first, please. All right. Just a card or just a letter saying she's returning on to me. Amazing. Amazing that this happens so often with that station when John is on it. Um, you know, Lena, it's not really the station's fault. You know what we do to electronics. You don't realize it's very real what we do to electronics. Right, so... That's frustrating, though, for me, because I love hearing that sound of your voice coming in through the transistor. Well, that's because mine his voice is taking over on the overriding channel, ours. And I'd rather keep this voice going. Okay, honey. All right. Bunny, why did Bunny throw up? He's all right. He's got hairballs. He's got whatever, canker sores. He doesn't have canker sores. My cat does not have canker sores. <laughs> Hi, Mom and Dad. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Week in advance. Johnny. Uh, hey, Dad. And same to you. Yeah, thanks. All right. Uh, can I get a card and and carry on? All right, sure, of course. Card for father and mother. How's that? It sounds great. Ah! But, of course, it's mother's card. Ah. Father God is saying how much he loves her um, and that he doesn't say it often enough when he has the opportunity and he wants to use this opportunity. Father God is telling me how much he loves and, and reveres Mother God and that without her, there ain't no operation. And look, as soon as we said this, little Mazik came in. So now we have a male and a female to make the whole thing uh, whatever. Mm. So, John, you were saying the song Mr. Postman was making you think you, that we should be writing again? Yeah, I think so. It's time for a new chapter or anything. People like when we our, our written voice is a good one. Mine, I really enjoy working it. If you feel up to it, I'm, I'm all for writing. 
No, well, poetry always, yeah, that'll come, but, but you want to write a paragraph on any topic in particular? Wow, all the cats are in here this morning. Maisie, Maggie's at the window, and Sir Bun Bun. Where's the big fat orange guy? Hmm, where's my booba? He's hiding. I need some booba. Okay, we got a, um, I'm going to play, um, a song in just a second because it's Sunday and um, this is saying don't be so cheap don't hold on to your money you can't take it with you all right so whatever if you're being cheap about something today stop being cheap Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Arjuna, Hare Vishnu, Vishnu Vishnu, Hare Hare. Wow, how to butcher that. That was beautiful, John. Thank you. He sings like an angel. He sings like an angel. You're not there. Am I to blame for being unfair? Don't you know I can't sleep at night since you've been gone? I never weep at night. I can't go on. Don't you know I can't take it? I don't know who can. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not that kind of man. Don't you know I can't sleep at night? But just the same, da -na -na -na. I never weep at night. Da -da. I call your name. Da -da 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 -da. Don't you know I can't take it? 
I don't know who can. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not that kind of man. Don't you know I can't sleep at night? But just the same. I never. Good idea. Yeah. Never rule out a cappella. No, thanks for the reminder. I will not I will not rule out a cappella. That's always in the cards. Speaking of which, love. All right, one for you, John. I'd love one. Look at you with the cards. Temperance. All right. Uh how are you overdoing it? Everyone ask yourselves this. Oh, I have been overdoing it with the drama. And I am done. I am done with the drama. Yeah. I am done. I am so through. Hi, Hiram. Hey. I, as Hiram would say, I am too through with the fucking drama. Temperance also has got temper, the word temper in it. I'm sick of everybody's stupid fucking ego laden tempers, idiots. Everyone around me. Honey. What? Another card. What are you doing? Getting crazy. Yeah. Oh, they're all looking for a reading this morning. Then you're going to have to. All right. Who wants it? George? Yes. What do you got in store, George? Well, I want to show off that little box. That's very cute. Yeah, I got a new, like a little. Forget it. It's cool, though. Thanks, George. Mm. Um, go ahead, George. What do you got? Um, all right. Seven of Pentacles, uh, Lord's number, seventh day. Hmm. Looking for ways to make money or, or starting to count money coming in. I'm, I'm going to say don't count your chickens before they hatch too. Yeah. Anything in particular? No. The message is just for people to interpret as they see fit. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Lena, in your case, stop looking. You have to start looking on the brighter side and stop looking on the catastrophes, the eventuality that there will be a catastrophe for you. It's no catastrophe for you. I promise. It's your brother, George. Thank you, George. You, you know, you have to get tough with me and, I, and you do it all the time. And I, I do appreciate it a lot. This is not an easy journey, Lena. No one's pretending it is. Father will tell you, mm. just have more fun, kid. Just don't be so down. And don't, for God's sake, don't. How do I, well, you figure something out. Earplugs, earphones, whatever. Figure something out. All right. Yeah, okay. Mm. Mm. See if there's another radio reading. Yeah, sure. A day in the life, the cataclysmic ending to a day in the life. And there's the boys right there. Actually, it's just started. We'll go. Get out of bed. Drag to comb. I boss my head. And there's, the, there's our pepper boys. We upstairs and had to cook. I'm looking up. I noticed I was late. Everybody knows that song. I love that song, and I want to listen to it, I think. Well, we could put it on again at the end, but draw a card while we're in the middle of it. All right, so that that radio reading, A Day in the Life, and this card will go together. I also love that the boys are wearing their pepper outfits, and that song comes on. I mean, in this picture here. Uh, stalemate. Sometimes you just have to settle for a stalemate. And also silence. Yes, dear. Father, dear. As spoken through John. Mm -hmm. 
It happens. Right. It does indeed. Let's take a look at these guys. Mm. Yeah, we're all one lean. We're a real type family, you know. Yeah, I know. We're a real, we're a real nuclear family, us in in many ways. A very huge nuclear family, right? Hey, John, and I gotta tell you something, all of you. I think I I I had like a happiness, a complete happiness revelation last night. To, that John said, let's watch all all the Lost in Spaces together from the beginning. And it's just like, it's like coming home, but again, but with your best friend that you never watched the show with, but you, but meanwhile, you really did watch it at the same time. You know what I mean? <laughs> we both have such a great love for that show. And we both were watching it right around the same time back in the 60s. And John, I could see you being completely enamored with that show. That's uh, knowing you and the kind of shows you really like. Yeah. And last night when we started watching the first episode, it was just kind of the most romantic, hilarious thing in the world. <laughs> our our appreciation, our mutual appreciation of the acting, <laughs> the special effects. <laughs> When they all start walking in slow motion and they, the, there's supposed to be no gravity and they have the girl's hair, their ponytails being held up by strings. <laughs> Isn't it the greatest? It's so the greatest. <clears throat> so I feel like I have a new reason to live in many ways. Because <laughs> we're only on the second episode and it's so good. <laughs> It's so good. Lost in Space, streaming free on Prime. Amazon Prime. It's like the sun came out. Here's another card. That's that's me and that's my whole world lighting up at the sound of your laughter. <laughs> that's me, Lena. That's all it takes is your happiness. It It's all I want. I feed off of it. It's so beautiful. My Leo, my sunny girl, my sunshine girl. You're my sunshine. Thanks, John. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard quite such a lovely reading for that card. Back in Eric Clapton. And of course, oh, Clapton is being mentioned. All right, uh, Clapton, are you? Yeah, he's yeah. Shit. What do you got, EC? Can you go six in for the life path number? Yes, I can do that for you, Eric. Three, four, five. Uh, I love when I get readings like this because it's like, wow, they really feel crazy, random, and great. Well, it was upside down. Yeah, I, I, I go with reversals also. All right. You're a sunny girl. You just go with a positive card, but I will take a reversal. <clears throat> so wheel of fortune upside down. But can I? Yes, of course. Drawn upside down, the wheel of fortune. You know, I'm brought to think about my son that that was killed accidentally. Mm -hmm. Yes, Eric Clapton's little boy. Right. And... Uh, our paths have crossed many times since that, mm, since that crossover. And brings me closer to the realization that there is nothing and everything to fear. Really? Yes, but it somehow always works out, Lena. But if you want to fear it or look forward to it, I guess it's the two different things. No one likes getting old. Mm. But the alternative, what, is to die young, right? Right now, you're saying about this card, like everything feels ass over tea kettle. Yeah. For, for, the, for the entire world and universe at large. And everything is really kind of hinging, not kind of hinging on this, you know, the survival of this planet or as many survivors as possible. Galaxies, yeah. The energy has to go somewhere. So this reading is really heavy. I don't know where it's going. Pick another card. All right. 
Woody Allen. Yes. It'll wear you down. Yeah, nine of wands. It'll wear you down worrying about any of this crap. Mm hmm Because it just seems to go on. Did you, I mean, now to talk to Woody, this seems like the perfect card for Woody. That, oh, Jesus Christ, it's still going, you know, still ticking. But wow, you get so tired. Mm. This is it, kid. This is the big show. Mm -hmm. But the big show goes, the show must go on. <laughs> We're trying to cheer you up. My God, what does it take? It takes nothing. Everything is great. I just, you, you, the heaviosity begins to wear you down, doesn't it? That's why you got to put it down. Because it's going to still be there. I, you know, what's going to make it not be there? Did, did, it, did drinking and drugs ever make it not be there? You mean the fear of death or the fear of the unknown? Uh, yes. And also the, Fear of, and the remembrance of the known. Memories that are too painful to bear. Realities. Current realities that are too painful to bear. Mm -hmm. There is no answer. Except that we must endure. And we endure with each other. But you said something earlier about the value of being alone. And I believe what you said, Woody's remembering what I said? Yes. Let's see the card for a moment. Six of Pentacles. Give him access. Uh, to, to be all right with being alone is to be truly blessed. Ah. Oh. Yes. I don't know that I said it that well. You meant it, though. To be all right with being alone is to be truly blessed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, it does. There's no doubt about there's an appeal for some drinking alone, having a few drinks. Because mm -hmm. it helps, you know, ease the pain. Let in maybe thoughts and feelings you wouldn't otherwise feel comfortable about embracing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it no longer applies. Like uh, drinking would not, would not, I don't need it now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. We're just stream of consciousness talking, right? Nothing, nothing is expected of you whatsoever. But Paulie wants a card. All right. I'll take one that came down already. All right. Good system, right? Not bad. Oh, here's another one. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're following Johnny's lead. Just go. Go with that. Mm -hmm. He's very confident, Lena. Don't, don't project your lack of confidence onto him. He's very confident. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Richie. Hmm. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Not just one, several, and not just us. Thank you. Bunch of magicians all. Uh, hi, Sid. <clears throat> yeah, you know, don't, don't sweat it about anything. Now you got too much. Now you got too many puppets, too many cards. You got too much at your disposal. And you're giving yourself a headache. Yeah, that's why you know uh, these were the card, the original cards. We'll we'll come through on any old cards, but we all have a penchant for these cards. These cards, they're your cards, baby. Yeah, you guys all remember when I was starting to read. Oh, when when you started, when you became a reader. John was. It was like giving the proud father. Really. John, do you remember? Oh, yeah, I do. She's reading. She's gonna. I'm gonna get through. She's reading, mm -hmm. and she's really going at it. She's made a notebook and everything, and she's reading, and she's doing a hundred free readings for all strangers, so that she can hone it. 
And I'm going to get right in there. I'm going to get right in there. And you did. Mm -hmm. Pretty quickly, too. Mm -hmm. John was my reading buddy mm -hmm. before I knew that he had other plans for me. <laughs> well, I kind of knew he had other plans for me, but I... <sighs> I didn't know what he was talking about a lot of the time. <clears throat> Words are flowing out like in this rain into a paper cup. They tumble blindly as they make their way across the universe. Pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind. Possessing and obsessing me. Jakaru Deva Om Nothing's gonna change my world Nothing's gonna change my world Nothing's gonna change my world Nothing's gonna change my world. Shakaru Dev. Namaste to you, my friend. Yes, namaste. Mr. India, eh? 3131 just hit. Mm. Infinity. Mm. Card, my dear? Of course. What are you looking at? Nothing. The room looks nice. I'm just looking around. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ah, oh, the Ten of Wands. You worked hard. You've worked. You've been working very hard. We could have a little mass in a little while, and then we'll... And this is kind of a mass, too. It truly is. Ring the bell again and give thanks and praise to the God and the Mother. Amen. Amen. I would be happy to play a little more flute. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe today we can tackle that Pete Best book. Yeah, but you're, you're, we can break it up with the Lost in Space. We'll get a little sick a lot. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Mm. You just realized how addicted we already are to Lost in Space. It's the most fun I've had so far watching something with you. Really? Yeah. I'm losing it. I feel like Will Robinson and like we're like little kids again. You feel like Will Robinson. Look at this. <laughs> All the robot. No, I haven't fallen in love with the robot yet. That comes later when he develops a better personality. <laughs> <laughs> when he starts telling jokes, I start falling for the robot. That's not for a while. He's still kind of evil. Uh, seven of Wands. Um, someone protecting their palace or their their, their doorway. That that what what's important to them? Their fortress. Somebody who is your protector at your fortress. What do you get from that? Well, it's a seven, and and so God. God's number and you know God is our protector and God assigns us protectors in this life but I can't help thinking about other people who are just like laying on sidewalks somewhere and you know or animals that are being abused and I'm just like I I don't know you want to ask God why he lets things like that happen mm-hmm and you know the answer or you don't know it? I just wish it wasn't the way it is. And I, you know, I love God and mother, but it's scary that, 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 that be, because this is what humanity chose to do. You know, why though? God, why? Well, this is where eradicating the darkness this is what our work assists in doing everyone should be doing something that brings joy or happiness or art or pleasure or rescue into their world 
Everyone should be just doing this. It's easy. It's easy. Let's see what's on the radio now. That was well said, honey. The show's over, and now we're hearing Bon Jovi's Your Love is Like Bad Medicine. And what are you saying? Sometimes it's hard to choke down this world. Yeah, that's amazing reading, but it's yeah, it's exactly what I was thinking too. This this world is very hard to choke down, but this is not the world that God envisioned. This is not the world that God envisioned. And you know, this this is what happens as a civilization is born. Nobody really understands it, honey. Nobody. But we know what we want it to be. And you're right at the forefront of that army. Oh, that's exciting. Now, what can we do to make it? Well, that's what that's the age-old question. What can we do to move this along? Right now, we're doing all, all that we can. And, you know, I'm very busy on the side, and so are you, but you don't even realize it. You don't realize how many hats you actually wear. How many hats do I wear? Remember that fucking letter from that my my cousin's wife? I've been wearing a lot of hats this year. <laughs> one of the, you know, it was just like this woman was one of these people that sent out a Christmas letter, a form letter to all her friends, like and family along with their Christmas card and what an obnoxious thing to do, honestly. Like taking the time to write a whole essay, a documentary about what your life has been about in 1983 or whatever the fuck. I don't know. She sent one every, oh, oh, it's Charlene's letter. Here it comes. And it'd be like, uh, yeah, well, John, what? Are, hey, listen, hey, you know, if you send a letter like that, you can be named. Really? I don't, she, I'm sure she doesn't ever see these videos anyway. But um the one was just like, and I had no idea what that expression was. I'm well, whew, that's how it like starts off. I've sure been wearing a lot of hats this year. Mm. <laughs> and I thought she was literally meaning like she went out and bought a lot of hat, different hats that she was wearing. And I was like, oh no, she's saying that she's been a uh, like bottle washer, city cop, whatever the fuck the saying is. Mm. <laughs> So, bottle wash a city cop, right? Making the donuts, whatever Charlene's been up to. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. That was very funny. Yeah. You got good mileage out of those jokes for years making fun of that letter, didn't you? Yes, I did. You don't miss a thing. No. It's great to hear you talk about it again, though, because it was a very, very funny. Uh, you're very funny about it. You really are. Really? If How come you're not laughing? You feel me laughing, but you're not letting me laugh. I am so. <laughs> ah, stop, stop, stop. We didn't even get to this. Ten of... Oh, John, Jesus. What are you doing to me? Ten of swords. Oh, Johnny, come on. <laughs> you ready to go? Um, Yeah, What? we got these cards out, though. I want to do one more. Or two. Let's just, the reading is picked up. It's nice. I feel so much better. Yeah. Better than what? Better than being anxious or sad. Anxious, mostly. <sighs> Lost in space. I know. Which part are we up to? They're, they they just pulled the mother and father in from outside with the meteor that took about 10 years to get to them. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to the three minutes away, Don? I mean, they, they're still out there. It's like fucking 15 minutes into the show. Get your scales right or whatever it is that you're doing on that show. <laughs> the father's sweating. The meteor's getting closer. Three of... <laughs> The mother, was I really out there fainting every minute? But she's, hell, she's going to throw on her fucking moon boots and she's going to walk on the outside there. Also, what I would like to know is why did they give him a little rope to attach to the outside? That looks like a dog has been chewing. <laughs> a dog's been chewing on that rope. 
Why is this the rope that's attaching you to the spa- outside of your own spaceship, you idiot? Why don't you have some kind of stainless steel number? <laughs> oh, honey, your work is more than done. This is so great. Really? Three of Pentacles. That stands for a job well done. Mm-hmm. A job very well done. Well, if my job, you, your job is going to be reviewing Lost in Space. Really? Yes. We now have a new feature, Review of Lost in Space. All right. Okay. What else do we want to say about these first two episodes? Um, well, just that, uh, do, uh, no, notably, hello, John, John Harris. Jonathan Harris is here. Yeah. Dr. Smith, right. <laughs> hey, we had a great run there with uh, Always in Trouble or uh, In Trouble. Oh, he was a, one of our original guest singers for In Trouble Again. And I'm <laughs> thinking that Jonathan Harris, a.k.a. Dr. Smith, is now going to be joining us for a... A long overdue rendition of In Trouble Again. In Trouble Again. God help me, I'm in trouble again. That's very low. In Trouble Again. No, what now have I done? No, stop it. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, we'll do that another time. Or maybe we'll do it in a little while. We'll try it in a different key. But I am here to say I am so excited that you're going to be watching the program. I know what big Dr. Smith fans that both of you are. Yes, absolutely. And you even say that John sometimes sounds like Dr. Smith. He does. He sometimes says things and he sounds just like Dr. Smith. Mm. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, um what do we want to say about, uh, okay, so most notably, Johnny, yes, most, most notably, people will notice in the first, in the very early episodes, Dr. Smith is a villain. He's, he's you know, later, later on, he becomes somewhat of a clown. Nincompoop, he's saying, yeah. But in the beginning, he's really quite a convincing, uh, conniving, cunning villain. However, the cunning never does leave Dr. Smith. He's always plotting and planning things and making these amazing facial expressions. Yeah. And I know we're going to have a great deal of fun watching that together, my darling. Yeah, you're sounding a lot like Rex Harrison. What is happening with you? We're trying to get into a key for this. Uh, we're going to close out on this one. All right. Mm. In trouble again. God help me, I'm in trouble again. In trouble again. Oh, tell me now, what did I do? No use pretending that this love is ending. I'm in trouble again, in trouble with you. In trouble again, I don't believe it. I'm in trouble again, in trouble again. I'm afraid that it is true, but there'd be no trouble without my double. I'm in trouble again, but far from blue. <coughs> <coughs> Some may say that all this drama's killing me. Hey, every day's another can of worms. Hey, Nelly. Best believe we take this drama willingly. As long as we got love, boy, another crazy lesson learn. Oh, trouble again. Heaven help me, I am in trouble again. In trouble again. It's the only way. <laughs> 
But we never sweat it. Nice work if you can get any trouble again. Oh yeah, trouble again. Oh mommy, G-R-O-U-B-L-E. I love you and you love me. Just as happy as two can be, good Lord. We're never bored in trouble again. Trouble again, yeah.